hello how's everybody doing welcome back to midweek meditation here on zoom facebook some of you will see this on youtube uh, but whatever uh, your social platform is we welcome you back uh, we're so glad to be here again we are entering or actually in our third week of the semester of this fall semester at Emory University. I am Mari Allums. I am your host, my co-host Liz Martin at the controls. We are just so delighted that you would join us today for another midweek meditation. This is our first for uh, this semester. And we realize there is so much happening, so much going on around us in this world. Uh, as many of you witnessed last night, there was the debate uh, for this coming election. Today represents the uh, memorial of September 11th. Uh, and there's so much happening. Even as I opened my feet, this, my feet this morning on my social media, I saw that we lost uh, some, some prominent uh, artists, actors, uh, musicians in our community. And you know, I just, as I was preparing for today, there was so much that I wanted to talk about today. Uh, but in the midst of all that is happening, even as we pay attention to this beautiful, beautiful slide uh, that was selected here, we are in the changing in the beginning of the change from summer to fall. And one of the great things about it is the beautiful leaves that we all experience on our trees. Like right now, I'm looking out of the window at a tree in front of my house, and it's beautiful green leaves. But I can see some of them beginning to make their change. So as we start today, just like some of the leaves are beginning to change. I want you to reflect on a fresh start. Let's reflect on a fresh start. On new beginnings. Whatever that means for you. I will do a new thing in you and you shall. We see through a glass darkly, but eventually we're going to see this clearly and begin to understand. Because for me, uh, autumn always brings about a sense of new beginnings with the seasons shifting and back to school excitement. I thought it was a good time. It is a good time for us to reflect on even the emotions that come with this change. Because in our lives, there are definitely signals of change, for change. And we, we must find ourselves established and rooted and grounded, even as we find ourselves reorienting and gearing up for whatever is to come, right? But rather than bombard you with a whole bunch of sayings and information and wonderful, wonderful quotes, we're going to keep it simple today. Let's go. We have this, this tree, as we mentioned before. This is another one for you that's so beautiful. Ah, and I want you to look at that image and focus. Be present with us. Yes. do like something I do on Sunday mornings with uh, the person at the control. Let's go back to that first one again, Liz, just for a moment for 10 seconds. Thank you. How beautiful. Let's go to the next one again. <laughs> Similar colors, a different arrangement of trees, 
but notice something in the middle there on the ground. There are two roads. I start off at the beginning of this meditation playing a piece of long windy road. You know that one? There's been a lot of paths that we have taken to get to this point today. But what we're going to do today is we're going to stand still. We're going to sit still. Just rid yourself of anything that's in your hand that might be weighing you down. Put your phone aside for a minute, unless you're using it to watch us. <laughs> but even then, why don't you slide it in front of you where you can gaze out in front of you and look at it uh, with nothing in your hands, nothing weighing you down. And today, our practice, our practice, our practice, as things are moving so fast around us. If you live in Atlanta, you know what it means to drive in Atlanta traffic and everybody's flying, trying to get to their destinations, just in a hurry. In some neighborhoods that you even drive in around Emory, there have been placed speed bumps <laughs> those speed bumps are meant to slow us down and we're just gonna we're gonna imagine that today even as we have these these paths to choose from in our in our breathing practice and exercise today everything that we've done through the course of this summer and even now in the semester we owe it to ourselves to take a break. Come on, let's take a break. It's only a few minutes left. In fact, we have about eight minutes left to think today. Let's take a deep breath. Ready? In. Hold it. Exhale. Today I want to do a practice uh, which relates to constant, or not constant, conscious breathing. It's a song that we sing sometimes in worship. And this is the air I breathe. Presence in that breath means everything. And what we're going to do in the next few moments we're going to breathe in four seconds or four counts on my count. You're going to hold for seven. I hope you can do that. Don't do that uh, if you feel like you're going to pass out. <laughs> and then you're going to exhale for eight. Okay? And the reason I'm doing this is because I just want you to be mindful that you need to pause to breathe, to reflect, and to begin thinking about, if you haven't already, what it means to start anew, to have a fresh start. There's plenty of signals to make us start again, whether it be a wind or a breeze comes to knock the power out in our house and we have to reboot everything and start over again or do like uh, Liz and I did at the beginning of this this uh, meditation today I was clicking trying to make sure my keyboard was heard and then doing that I logged off <laughs> we had to start over again what a way to start over again right Liz we had to start from the beginning we logged on early but sometimes, just like even as I was preparing today, I was I woke up this morning with you in mind and how we can make this day precious for you. And then, two minutes before we started, everything started to happen. One minute into it, things started to happen. So how do we ref how do we how do we respond? to life when it does that to us we stop ready 
Let's breathe in for four. One, two, three, four. Hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now exhale as with pursed lips and very subtly allow that breath to exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I'll be more consistent this time. Are you practicing with this? I hope you are. Here you go. In four. One, two, three, four. Hold it for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And exhale. I'm sorry. Eight. Exhale for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One last time. In four. One, two, three, four. Hold it for seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And exhale for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do it one last time. Ready? In for four. One, two, three, four. Hold for seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven and then release it for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now just close your eyes for a moment. We're about to take it out of here. And what I want you to think about now as change is upon us, but there's life that's happening now. We're just going to be mindful of our brothers, our sisters, our friends, our family, our colleagues, classmates. But then we're also going to give that same energy and attention as we are in relationship with our studies, with our jobs, with our to-do lists and our daily tasks. And we're just going to place them at the feet of whatever the source is you depend on. The Bible says, cast your cares upon him because he cares for you. Cast them wherever you may, whatever your source is. We just invite you to do that now, even with your hands, wherever you feel sensation in your body. I want you to breathe through that. And exhale it out, that tension, that stress for relief. Today will be a great day. Today is a great day. Somebody say, today has already been a great day. It will and it shall continue to be. We love you today on this platform. We say that with affection because you need to hear it. You need to be embraced by, even as you decide on which path you will take on this road, that on your journey you will find grace, mercy, compassion, love, self-care, opportunity, forgiveness, It all belongs to you, and we extend that to you today. Happy fall as we enter into fall in about a week and a half now. We begin to embrace the change now because nothing in life remains the same. Everything continues to change, but it's how we embrace that change that makes the difference. And I'm here to, to say to you today that you are a difference, and because of you, life is good have a wonderful day and we look forward to seeing you again next week remember my name is mari allums you can reach me at m allums at emory.edu and the office of spiritual and religious life welcomes you back for another wonderful wonderful fall semester thank you so much for joining us take care mm-hmm.